Hi, my name is Megha Sharma and welcome to my life page. Today I'm here to talk about counseling as a profession, but before that I would like to tell you a little about myself. I have done my schooling from Vishwa Bharti Public School Noida. After that I completed my graduation in psychology honors from Kamla Nehru College Delhi University and um, I did my masters in counseling psychology from Amity University Noida. Currently I'm working as a school counselor with Kothari International School Noida. Counseling is basically helping individuals deal with their personal and interpersonal any conflict or any distress that they are facing. So when individuals come to us with any trouble, we help them, we listen to them, we help them understand what is going wrong in the situation or with them and then we help them come out of their problems and help them become de-stressed. So, so first is different theories and approaches which are there in psychology. So when we talk about counseling, because we are dealing with individuals, we are dealing with humans, we need to know about what are the various theories. So a lot of psychologists in the past have done researches and they've come up with various theories and there are various schools of psychology which we have to focus on when we are interacting with the individuals. So the first skill which is extremely important for taking up counseling as a profession is empathy. You have to understand what the other person is going through and you have to put yourself in the other person's shoes and understand the things from their perspective. When we talk about counselling, you are interacting with so many people and you are not only interacting with individuals on a one-to-one -one basis. At times we end up taking group sessions also. We are doing a lot of workshops as well. We are attending a lot of workshops as well. So this experience of interacting with a lot of people adds on to your personality a lot. So this holistic experience is not just about money, it's not just about experience, but it's also about a lot of learning that goes inside. I get to learn a lot of things. Even if a student is crying in front of me, somewhere down the line there is a learning for me as well. So there is a lot of stigma, even if you talk about us entering into 2018, still there is a lot of stigma and stereotyping that is associated with counselling. The moment we say that, yes, you should take therapy, yes, you should meet a counsellor, the individuals, they give up their hands and they are like, am I mad? Is there a problem with me? No, I'm not mental, I will not meet you. And this is not only with the clients, this is also coming from the parents. Many a times parents don't want to accept that their child needs special sessions, the child needs special guidance and they would not want us to interact with their children. At times they don't even give us the consent to have a counselling session with the children. So in the morning, uh, our reporting time for school is 8.20 and after that uh, there are certain classes that we need to take with the students and uh, whenever a teacher is absent, I go to that respective class to take up substitution and that becomes a group counselling session. So over there I talk to the students, at times I take up my presentations or my topics that I have to do with them. It could be bullying, it could be peer pressure, it could be teasing each other or it could be anything else. And many a times the students only, they get up and they're like, ma'am, something happened yesterday, may I talk about you? May I talk about it to you? And thereafter we pick up that topic and we take a group counselling session on the same. Now, during these sessions, at times I do identify students who are not there in the class mentally. So, they're not able to give appropriate responses to the situations. At times when we are doing a role play, they might reflect a personality which is not a student-like personality. So, these students, I note down these names and then I interact with them later on. I take up an individual counselling session with them and if there is a requirement, I call their parents, then I have a parental counselling session with them and if the need arises, then I take the session together. The parents and the children are sitting together. If there are certain concerns going on in the family, they have to be catered and of course, there is a continuous reporting that we have to do. Uh, there is a lot of documentation that we have to prepare and these reports have to be submitted to the school authorities because they have to be kept in loop about the mental health and the well-being of the children. I hope I gave you a balanced view about counselling. Thank you.